trash family if you're not subscribed then you know, what the hell's the problem doing a video this morning about it's called respect It involves something I experienced yesterday when I went to get my hair cut. I go to Great Clips to get my hair cut. The reason I go there is twofold. It's not because of the price. Convenient. You can check in online. You usually get in. You get out pretty quick. And there's no chit-chat. The stylist there, they cut your hair. You don't have to hear their life story, their problems they're having with their boyfriend or girlfriend and their boss. They just cut your hair, they get you in, they get you out. Great, that's what I want. I check in online, I show up there, there's six people waiting in the lobby. The lobby's open. And there's four stylists and four people getting their hair cut. Ten people. I checked it online. There's like three people in front of me. It goes pretty quick. It's not going to be that bad. Uh, so while I'm sitting there, the stylist gets done with a guy. He's about 42 years old. His mommy dropped him off there. She's going to pick him up later. The reason I know that is because the guy won't shut up when he gets done. <coughs> the stylist's name's Amber. The reason I know that is because that same girl's going to cut my hair. This is the integral part of the story. And I'm going to call him Poindexter so we know who I'm talking about. Poindexter gets done. He comes up to pay. He says, hey, I've got this coupon on my phone, $5.99. Can I use this? Well, yeah, it's their coupon. For round numbers, let's say it was $6.25. She punches it in, and he looks, looks at her. She says, $6.25. He reaches in his pocket. Pulls out 625, says I don't need a receipt, and then goes and sits down about two seats away from me. You cheap bastard, you. I can't believe it. I cannot believe it. She performed a certain, especially stylist. Somebody cuts my hair, and I. If I'm not happy with it, while I'm in the chair, I tell them what I see wrong, they fix it. You tip them. They're not making a killing doing, in that case, $6 haircuts. You know, the owner of the salon's got to pay for rent, utilities, space. Um, the the no-tipping thing just drove me crazy. But it is what it is. It's going to bother me. It's going to percolate. But it gets better. And he actually gives me the opening to correct this behavior later on. So. Somebody else gets done. The guy that gets done, he's probably mid, mid to late 30s. He uh, comes up to pay. Poindexter jumps up and says... Hey, man, I got this coupon on my phone. Save you some money. You don't got to pay full price. They, once again, they honor the coupon. $6.25 for round numbers. I swear to God. The guy pays with a 10. Stands there for his change back. Turns around walks out. Now I'm thinking... What freaking planet am I on? What have we come to? This is this is insane. It's just crazy. 